Major cellular outage is being reported nationwide. The tracking website downdetector.com is reporting more than 32,000 outages for AT&T customers. We're also hearing reports of customers with AT&T are struggling to uh, call 911, and that is a problem. That's not good. All right, more than 800 outages also reported for Verizon and T-Mobile users. It's unclear what caused this outage. There has been no word yet from any of these major cellular cellular networks. Did I'm, you have a problem this morning, Pete? I didn't By the notice way, it. welcome. Uh, but great to be here. I did not notice it, but a lot of people have. Yeah. And I, it's coast to coast. It's not the kind of thing where it's just happening here in New York. Apparently, reports are it's all the way to L.A., maybe international, right. too. We don't uh, know. I, I see... Uh, LA, Dallas, Atlanta, uh, San Diego, San Antonio, Chicago, San Francisco, and Honolulu. So what about uh, Surfside Beach in South Carolina? Lawrence, uh, poll the audience, ask for the hands if anybody's having a cell phone problem. Yeah, let's ask the folks here. Okay, who's having cell phone issues here today? Who has AT&T, raise your hand. AT&T, cell phone issue, what about Verizon? Who's having some Verizon issues today? Okay. Yep. yep. So yeah. pretty much everyone, guys, is having the same issues. Well, Lawrence, Thank God for the Wi-Fi network, because yeah, that's was, what we're using. Yeah, I was going to say, because it's the data. Uh, Lexi, our assistant, she came in this morning and she said, my data's not working, but when I get to Fox and I turn it on Wi-Fi, right. my phone works now. That's exactly right. They can emer they can I think they can make emergency phone calls, but they're not able to make just general phone calls of family. Yeah. So you got a lot of folks getting up for school, taking their kids out and uh Hopefully we can get control of this situation real fast. Yeah, we're trying to call some people to find out what's going on, but there, apparently there's a cell phone problem. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna be working on this this hour because people are getting up, they want to know the news, and if your phone doesn't work, you're pretty much cut off. You're That's a, the beauty of cable TV. Your alarm does work though. I was like, Lexi, how'd you yeah. get up this morning? So my alarm my alarm was working, but this is how addicted we are to our phones. Everyone is so yeah got. Everyone's freaking out because this I, morning I have to it's be not working. Yeah. I have to be honest, Ainsley. I got up this morning and the phone is not working. I go, I know I've been on the road a lot. Did I forget to pay my bill? Like, is something <laughs> not going on? Like, nice. I do it. And I was like, okay, I got automatic payment on that. So that's good. Yeah. Uh, but everybody's experiencing the same issue. Yeah, and we're going to get to the bottom of it. In the I, meeting, everything, if, there's, if there were a cyber attack or a satellite malfunction, even a major solar flare, if cell phones went out, give it three hours. Give it 12 yeah, hours. Give it 24 yeah. hours, and, and a lot of things change in our society. The country would be brought to its, its knees. massive vulnerability. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.